Good morning, church family. This is Margie Mayer. Um, the title of my devotion today is Seeds of Doubt. Um, and it's really funny because I just had to restart this because I doubted what I was going to say. Um, anyway, um, before we begin, let's say a little a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for um, for your word, for your encouragement, and just um, how you work in our lives. And Lord, I just pray that as I read what you put on my heart to share today, that it would just be a blessing to those who hear it. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, have you ever had uh, somebody cause you, or have anybody cause you to doubt um, something that you had full confidence about doing? Um, I am in training right now to do a rim to rim and the organization that I'm doing it with is a Christian organization and it's actually rim to him because it is a very hard uh, uh, hike. Uh, anyway, um, so I am in training to do the rim to rim at the Grand Canyon and I've been doing some overnight backpacking to get ready for this challenge. Brandy and I had gone, had made plans to do an overnight um, a couple weeks ago and the day before we went um, I had gotten an email from the um, Phil, the, Phil, the, the people from uh, the, the group that is putting on the Rim to Him uh, program and they told me that I had to have a doctor's clearance to do the hike and that little detail placed a huge um, doubt in my mind which wreaked havoc on me mentally um, and on that point I began to doubt my own abilities I wrestled with that with the doubt all the way to the top of the mountain I got elevate elevation sickness which added to my doubt I kept saying to myself maybe maybe I can't do this hike maybe I am too old maybe I will fail Maybe they're trying to tell me something. Oh, is all I could think about the whole day up the hill. We did make our goal. We did struggle at times, but we made it to the top. We spent the night, which boasted my confidence, and we wisely changed our plans because of the water supplies. But we did it. I did go to the doctor. She gave me a clearance physically, but it was the Lord's words that spoke to my heart that gave me the confidence and that is Psalms 55 22 in the New Living Translation give your burdens to God and he will take care of you he will not allow the godly to slip and fall yes that uh, gave me back my joy to continue with a new focus we don't have to be nervous about failing we will he will hold us hold up the weight for us. He has given us his word that he will not allow anyone or anything to move us from where we are supposed to be. Isaiah 41:10, also in the New Living Translation says, do not be afraid. I am with you. Don't be discouraged. I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. When you have those seeds of doubt, Make sure you are where God wants you to be, and then pull all of those negative thoughts under his submission, according to 1 Corinthians 10.4. Let's say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for encouraging each one of us with the struggles that we might face and those seeds of doubt. You know, I just pray that um, we would recognize them, what they are, that is Satan trying to um, not want us to have... Um, the glory or the, the the victory in which you've given to us. And Lord, I just pray that today you would go before us. In Jesus' name, amen.